All this designer on my body got me drip, drip. Hey, straight up out the objects, I'm a big trip. I got the mop, watch me wash them like detergent. And I'm ballin', that's why it's diamonds on my jersey. Like Hey Queendom, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know the vibes. If you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click on the bell so you can be notified every time I post. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I achieve these DIY glitter nails with a little bit of bling to it. So if you want to know how I got these done, go ahead and keep watching. So the items you will need to achieve these DIY glitter nails are clear coffin tips, nail rhinestones, butterfly sequins, nail glue, broken glass, glitter, top coat, a nail clipper, a cuticle pusher, a nail brush, a nail file, and a nail buffer. All the items mentioned in this video will be included in the description box as well as associated with the links. The first thing we have to do is prepare our nails before the tip application. First, you're going to clip your nails. I already did so off camera. And then I'm going to push back my cuticle. And after doing that, then I'm going to file and buff my natural nails so it doesn't have any shine or moisture on it. Now that I have finished prepping my nails, I'm going to go ahead and choose the appropriate size tip for each nail. Make sure to do this step precisely because if the nail is too big or too small, the nail will lift. Now that I finished choosing the appropriate size nail tips for each finger, I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue to my full nail and then I'm going to press down with a little bit of pressure so that I can avoid any air bubbles. Do this for 30 seconds. I just finished applying the tips to both of my hands, so now I'm gonna go ahead and file down just a little bit. I like the length, but it's just that little number on the top that I have to file down, if you know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm gonna do. You can file to your desired length. If you like short coffin, you can file them all the way down. And if you like long coffin, you can just file down the tip where that number part is. So now we are about to get into my favorite part, the glitter and bling time. So first we're gonna get our glitter. You can get the small specks of glitter. You get the chunky glitter. You could mix both glitters. You can put as much glitter as you want. So first I'm gonna get my top coat and I'm gonna apply it to my index finger halfway. I'm gonna do this um, glitter design on my index and pinky finger. So. You can choose whether you want to do this style on all your nails, two nails, three nails, however you want to do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this highlighter yellow nail polish to both of my thumbs. I don't know what made me use that color, but it did not go good with all the other nails that I had. 
all the nails are clear and then just that one nail just being yellow it just looked it off it looked like a black sheep of the family but a couple of days later i did take that color off and just kept it clear and added some rhinestones to it so it looked much better now um but if you want to do this same style you can just use the clear base the top coat and then add the broken blast stones onto it and it will be the same look and if you do decide to do the broken glass design on your nail, you can either apply the clear top coat as the base and then pour the broken glass onto your nail, or you can apply the clear top coat and just dip your finger and then all the broken glass will just stick onto your nails. So now I'm gonna apply some clear top coat to my ring finger and then I'm gonna get my tweezers and pick up the butterfly sequins and apply them to my nails. If you want the butterfly sequins to last longer, you can go in with some acrylic afterwards to encapsulate the butterflies. Now I'm getting ready to apply some bling to my nails, but first I'm gonna apply some clear top coat to my nail, and then I'm gonna get the holographic bling, and I'm gonna go up in a straight line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this triangular flat back rhinestone to my nail. And then I'm gonna add like five stones to each side next to the triangular flat back stone. And then after that, I go ahead and add three stones to the top.
when you're finished applying the rhinestones to your nails then you're gonna go in with some glue around the rhinestones so that it can stay in place and then when I'm done doing that I'm gonna apply clear to all my nails and I'm gonna leave the ones with the rhinestones for last and then I'll add the clear to those nails as well Now my nails are all done. They are looking so bomb and so pretty. They are shining, 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 yeah. I can't sing, guys, but don't mind me. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button, comment, share, and if you're new, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time I post. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Why is that over DJ? Put him his VVS. Okay. Out of my wrist, can I just spin it? Man, it